Hey guys, one of the first things you're going to notice when you want to edit your IPTV site inside of BuildRaw is that it's going to come with a logo. Typically, it's going to be the last logo um, that I updated for somebody, but those are going to be some of the things you're going to want to change. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click on the logo and you can go here to change image. Once you click on change image or link an external image, then you'll be able to change that as well. So that's the one, you know, the first thing you want to do. And this is going into the change image. Like I said, it's going to bring up your little library and then you can upload or add that image. So upload from here, then you would just select the image and it would replace this. Now I recommend that you download this first. So like, you know, um, open the site through a browser then right click and download that way you'll have the exact size of it and I may wind up um, putting the sizes somewhere for you, for you to see so that's one of the first things um, the second thing is that your buttons are already going to be linked but this video you're going to want to link your own video here so you're going to want to right click and over here text appearance action icon if you go up here to the action this is going to select the action that you want so in this case I did a pop-up and that pop-up is called demo so that pop-up demo is where that video is located and the pop-ups are I'm going to show you over here over here so you want to click on this green arrow and again this is for this button right here click on that and you'll see the pop-up right here and all I did was I chose add a pop-up I chose this blank one and then I put a video in it and just so you can see what it looks like remember I showed you on the button how this pop-up goes to the demo this is the demo so basically what it is oh I chose show it it's the blank box and I pulled in the app for HTML and I just dropped in the YouTube video so this pop-up is called demo and when you when you click on it it triggers it and this is what shows the video so again um, you can create it or just go in here and change it and if you want to edit it you would just go in there and um, click on this and basically just add a new video in there see configure so you just add your YouTube video so you're going to click on it then you're going to right click you're going to go to configure and then drop in your own video link okay so that's one of the things also let me go in there and hide that from <coughs> the view right now okay so one of the other things you're going to want to probably change is let me see everything else is relatively good um, you might want to change a lot of the content you want to add images that's easy enough you guys know how to do that already um, you know how to use this drop down already um, you want to want to change these buttons right here so these are my Skype chat um, button to chat or to talk and you can go in here to edit you can tell you what it wanted to do who will receive the call so you just put in your Skype ID if there's going to be multiple people then you put in multiple um, Skype IDs so that way for the chat or for the call same thing so all you have to do is drop in your your own Skype ID in there and that's it and again these um, are in here in this section with the plus but you only got to change them here and I, I, I did it like that so people wouldn't have to take phone calls you know you could just be on, on Skype make it really easy you're going to want to change out your testimonies make them real and then your plans this is where the um, cart comes in so I want to show you real quick um, where this goes so if you right click on this button and you go to action you see that I'm telling it to go to the checkout page and open in the same tab which means instead of opening in a new tab where you have your main page and then the checkout page open it's going to open up and the main page is going to go 
So since you want to go to the checkout page, remember, right click, it tells you where you want it to go. You're basically editing this from the checkout page section, which when you go up here to landing page, just drop that down, go to your checkout page, and that's going to bring you your cart. So if you wanted to change the offer, because you know this is the offer, if you go down here and right click and change offer, this will allow you to basically create whatever it's going to be. So I called it membership, which membership, choose the connection, connections, <coughs> excuse me, that fits you best. That's text right there. And then there's no thank you page. Um, you can put one. You can put an expiration date if you're doing a special offer, like for the first 30 days, you know, the price is half off for the first um, 100 signups. The payment offer is going to be the person's PayPal email address. So once you have all that information filled out, this is what allows you to create everything else. But in the pay in the offer itself, in order to change your PayPal, you're going to want to go into Edit Offer, and that's where you're going to select PayPal, Stripe, Braintree, or Authorized Net, or if you're using JVZoo or um, Warrior Plus, these are the external platforms. See, ClickBank. But in this case, all you would do is you would add the email address for the PayPal account you want. So you would basically click on PayPal. You would name this whatever you want to name it. So in this case, you know, name it your name, your business, so that you can identify it because you may have multiple PayPal accounts, multiple Stripe accounts. Once you name it, it's going to let you put in that email address. Once you put in that email address, it's done and activated and ready to go. So that's how you're able at checkout to charge these people with PayPal. Now let me show you what I meant by the offer itself. So after you input all the information on the offer and you go over to next, this is where you would put in the two different plans or the multiple plans that you have. And if you click on it and open it up, you'll see one connection. Let me pull this up. So you see one connection, $20 a month, one connection, $20 a month, it spells it out, one connection, see? And then optional. If you're having multiple, multiple pricing, then you're going to want to have the optional check. That way they can choose which one they want. So you see, yes, I want this one. And in this example, you know, when it gets, gets emailed, it's going to say, you know, your membership will be granted. Now you can also make this recurring by clicking on the recurring section up here. So that means that they'll constantly be billed at $20 a month. I don't like auto billing guys. You know, I'm a big fan of invoicing people. You know, I'm not even really big on the whole shopping cart, you know, for IPTV, but if you want to do it, you, know, you can do it that way. You can check the recurring and it would tell you how many payments. So this is going to be a monthly payment. It's going to be infinite cycle. It's not going to expire. It will, you know, stop when they cancel it. And then you just go ahead and you basically save that and you're done. And then do the same thing on the other one. Go down here, right click on that one. Well, I mean, you don't have to go back this far, but because I closed it out already, but it's going to be in that section where it lists the two items. So the same thing, you just drop down here. You would make it recurring for however amount of time you want it to rec be recurring for. And that's it. Everything will be up and running for you. So those are the items you're going to want to change. Everything else, basically, it's covered in just the standard builder all um, videos and training that you see. So those are just how to change things in the particular IPTV um, site that we have up for you. And again, like adding your address, we made it real easy, your social media. So if you have any questions, reach out to me.
760-422-3052 or send me a text and um, I will call you back but again those are the main things you want to change um, changing your message settings that's in, covered in the video but again that's just a right click configure and then if you're using um, an autoresponder or if you just want the default where it gets sent to you choose that but again all of that is already inside of the training so I was just showing you how to make the updates you know that were specific to the um, website that people may use for the IPTV thing okay I'm glad I was able to do this for you I look forward to answering any questions and assisting you in any way that you need help bye, bye for now guys